Hello you and welcome to a Sunday Million Highlight Show for the 27th of January 2013. <laughs> Slightly different. 7,686 runners, a huge $1.5 million prize pool. A big Sunday Million this week. Should be a fun final table. And Poppy de Joppy is your chip leader. Why wouldn't he be? B. Vladimir is in second place and Vixen Koala, the unusual combination of devilish sultriness with the koala bear. No one saw it coming. We'll jump into some poker action for you. 200,000, 400,000 and after the teacup excitement, nice to be back in the loving, comforting arms of the Sunday Million final table. Like a cup of hot cocoa on a cold January day and a hug. Achilles 591 doesn't have many chips. Probably put those in the middle. Hey, there you go. Four big blinds or less. I recommend going all in. Write that down, class. Looking around the table, there's another very short stack as well. Sedlik, who will be rooting against Achilles. And the decision on... Brick Dog 24, he's going to put his money in. Probably shuts out Shimer. Shmire. Excuse me. Brick Dog's all in, but has lots of chips left over. Achilles 591 is the player at risk and may well be leaving us. Two of spades, obviously no help, and that confirms the sad truth that Achilles 591's magnificent run through a ridiculously big field. 7,686 runners. Take some doing to get to the final table. $11,900 is his reward, and we're quickly eight-handed. Hand five still comes to you from the 200,000, 400,000 level. Vixen Koala, it looks cuddly, but it'll kill you in a heartbeat. Probably with a concealed machete. Poppy de Joppy has the deuces, may play these. Vixen Koala is in third spot at the final table, reasonably deep stacked, and the Popster is going to three bet. And this is the stuff dreams are made of at a Sunday Million final table, isn't it, for Vladimir? Vladimir with the Queens and the big stack. Anyone want to guess where Vladimir's from? Anyone? No, incorrect, it was Russia. Who knew? 16.5 million in his stack, and he's going to flat call. Interesting. You thought everyone else will fold, and Vixen Qualler will have a slightly odd decision. I guess you call and put your money in if you flop a pair, I don't know. Not easy to play this with the two bigger stacks behind. Mason Koala goes for the fold. Interesting. Didn't fancy it at all. <laughs> well, this is pretty gross for Vladimir. As bad as it gets, really, because no overcards to the Queens. It's fool's flop time. He'll think he's good here. Every right to think he's good with the chip leader three betting. He could have a ton of different hands. As it happens, he has a set. 5.3 million in the middle. It's going to be really tough for Vladimir not to go broke. But he's played it slow so far. Maybe he'll keep playing it slow. And get out of this with some chips. We'll see. Poppy to Joppy. Makes the continuation bet. Very good tournament. Pedigree, the Popmeister, runner-up of a T-Coupe event in 2012. And uh, he's been to the final of the Sunday Million before, finished sixth, so looking to do better than that. And you'd have thought he would. This board continues to run out badly for Vladimir, but he will think that it's running out well. It's cruel, isn't it? And does he put in a raise at any point? He gets away from it, my word. I literally don't know how that happened. I mean, he's got... I, I mean, Poppy to Joppy's an accomplished player, presumably very aggressive player, with the big stack in front of him. 
queens of the nuts there, aren't they? Hands up at home if you go broke there without any shame. Yeah, I've got my hand up. Sound engineer's got his hand up. Producer's got his hand up. Tea lady's got her hand up. Well done, Vladimir, I guess. It's genius or madness. Brick Dog, 24. I believe likes it pronounced Brick Dog. It's the only time it's going to happen, though. He's open with the Ace King. And a little pause on Vixen Koala, but that Queen Deuce is headed for the muck. And the super ultra short stack, trying to power fold his way to victory. Sedlik finally puts the money in. A little less than three big blinds. And Brute Dog will call. And this is probably the end of the adventure for Sedlik. He is dominated. And he's more dominated now. 9 10 runner runner it's coming can feel it no sir so Sedlik rides the short stack for a cheeky money jump at the beginning of this final table the eighth place is as good as it gets for the belgian seventeen thousand six hundred seventy seven dollars in his poker stars account seven ways in hand number 12. two hundred thousand four hundred thousand still your blinds Nuno from Norway, one of the short stacks. As you can see, the table's weighted down the bottom of your screen. Three short stacks up the top. Looking for a reason to shove. Vladimir opens on the cutoff. Brick Dog with the sevens. Can't imagine he's going anywhere here, but he'll be thinking about the relative merits of flat calling or three betting. He's folded. Why do people keep folding? This is weird. How can, you can't win if you fold? Come on. Schmier puts his money in with fives. That's what I like to see. All in ski. That's how you win. Should be no problem. Two point three million in the middle. Vladimir kind of has to call, even though his hand is ultra poor. And Schmier gets it in. Good. See, Brick Dog, that's how you win. The oh, no, 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 this has gone horribly wrong. Vladimir's made a pair. And Schmier's going to be very unlucky. Super short stack, of course. Can't have too many complaints. But still frustrating, I'm sure. Because it's easy to get back into this Sunday million with the big blinds. But that won't be happening for Schmier 1. The German leaves us... $30,744 richer. Brick Dog, who hates pocket sevens, that's now proven. No, he likes them now. Fickle. He's going to open the pot with two sevens. Vanda, 92.79. We haven't heard from him yet. He's been sitting on the short stack. Player from the United Kingdom. Wish him all the best. In a non-partisan fashion. Brick Dog again put to a decision with the sevens. This time he needs to call 3.7 million to win 6.8 million. That is a call. That is a call. It's a fold! I reckon seven stole his girlfriend once. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. There's another fold that looks like genius. Amazing stuff. Brick Dog 24 actually has three 30k plus scores on stars, so knows what he's doing in tournaments. Don't know how he made that fold though. 250, 500,000 are the blinds still. Hand 19. Six ways for the money in the Sunday million, and the big stacks have all got out of the way. Vander is going to make it a million to go. Definitely could have just shoved there. Fixing Koala's having a think. And decided to call, which is slightly surprising, I guess. And that's a really amazing flop for Vander and really horrible flop for Vixen.
if it's in Koala, in danger here because, well, Van der Stack is just under 5 million and you'd imagine that's not deep enough for Vixen to ever get away from this. Vander makes the bet. Playing it fast. How could he ever have a nine? Spoiler alert, he does. Nine of clubs, look. Vixen got across home my life. Well, it's a brutal game sometimes, isn't it? It's not completely... Yeah, Vander checks it back. Not completely and possibly doesn't go broke here, but really, really tough. And... Uh, Vixen makes his own full house. I mean, it doesn't count, but it just kind of looks satisfying, I guess. I've got aces and nines and aces and fours. He's going to make a bet. Doesn't set Vanda all in, and Vanda just calls. So we'll survive to fight another day with that check back on the turn basically ensuring his survival. Pretty stung by that one. Horrible cooler at this stage of the game. Vander now down to just over three big blinds. And King Queen looks like more than enough to put the money in with. Nuno getting horribly short stack, but no reason to get involved there. Poppy the Joppy will fold, and Vladimir needs to call, well, just a little bit over a million to win, just a little bit under three million. So even though he has a uh, humorous, though, bad hand, if you slightly rearrange the cards there, it becomes humorous if you're nine years old mentally. He does have to make the call, and... Vanda could get some of those chips back here, but maybe not so much. He's been outflopped. Vander with the 10 working. As well as the King Queen. Can he catch and survive? He cannot get it done. Vladimir knocks off his last remaining chips. And uh, he had a frustrating end to his tournament, didn't he? But a fantastic run through it. Sixth place for the UK player. $46,000 for him. We'd love to give you a free shot at the Sunday million seat. It's easy to get involved. Just go to me free roll on the online poker show free roll. And I'll give you the password later in the show. Welcome back to the Sunday Million. Five players left looking for the title and a huge amount of cash. Nuno 200 is your short stack attached from the pack. And he would just get whittled away over the next few hands. Tough for him to come back from this. We've seen it done. But really not easy. Poppy to Joppy and Vladimir are the two big stacks. And two big hands. So... This is interesting, particularly interesting if you're Nuno 200, because you would love somebody to get knocked out and ladder up. Five remain. They have $61,000 guaranteed, which is not bad. And, yeah, Nuno, now he's got into this mess. He may as well fold here and hope for a miracle to ladder him up. Now, we saw that hand earlier where Vladimir folded the queens. Now Poppy Joppy is going to fold the tens. Doesn't want to play against the other big stack out of position. And probably knows Vladimir's not fooling with him there. So interesting fold. This has been the final table of interesting folds. Folds making a comeback for ages. Raises have had all the PR. Is that changing in 2013? You know 200 is putting the money in. And he's actually a little bit unlucky to... Run into pocket eights against two random cards. But that's his reality. Vixen Coil is thinking about calling this. Because he's getting great pot odds here, isn't he? He's getting, you know, 
650,000. There's 1.9 million in the middle, over 3 to 1. He is going to call. And Poppy to Joppy will also call. So there are three ways to flop 3 million in the middle. And this will obviously get checked down a reasonable amount with the all in player. Vixen Koala makes a pair. Poppy to Joppy is behind. And no real help for Nuno. Check, check, it goes. Seven doesn't change too much. Again, both players will check the side pot. And Nino needs to catch the river, which he fails to do. So Nino 200 from Norway will be the fifth player eliminated. Check, check, it goes on the river. Vixen Koala will take down this small pot. Nuno 200 will make way for the four remaining big stacks. $61,488. Four players left, all of them with decent-ish stacks, and they would make a four-way chop. There would be a deal at this point. Still playing for 20 k to the winner. And, of course, the Sunday Million title. I will tell you their individual payouts as they bust. For now, let's watch the action. Hand 41, Poppy to Joppy is opened, and Vladimir's three bet him again. And this time, Poppy will call. And we'll have our chip leader and our number two man going up against it, and we'll get a bingo flop, so this could be fun. Top pair for Poppy to Joppy and the nut flush draw for Vladimir. Interesting to see how big this pot gets. They are the two chip leaders. Money jumps, obviously, much less now the deal's been made. So way less of a consideration. Poppy to Joppy's checked. Vladimir, you'd have thought, will happily put some money in the middle. Big flop for him. Three million is the bet. And he's called by the chip leader. To the turn we go with 12 million in the middle. And both players pick up a straight draw. Poppy to Joppy checks again. Now what does Vladimir make of being called on that flop? Does he think he can get Poppy to Joppy to fold at all here, or will he be tempted to take a free card? No, he's just going to fire away. I mean, he has such a big hand here. So many cards he can hit if he is behind and doesn't necessarily have to be behind. What is to Joppy with the decision? A lot of money in the middle, our biggest pot so far, and Poppy to Joppy folds. So a nice result for Vladimir. Takes him to the chip lead. Those two swapping around in the chip standings. Brick Dog and Vixen Koala, more or less equal in chips, aren't they, for playing purposes? Vladimir raises the button in hand 45, and Brick Dog will shove on him. And Vixen Koala has a decision here with the ace jack. Decides to fold, so Brick Dog shoving there saved Vixen Koala because Vladimir's sitting with the ace king on the button in great shape. Makes a really easy call. Brick Dog in serious trouble here. Well, Chop Pot's a slightly bigger possibility now. Tough for Brick Dog now. Vladimir has the flush draw to go along with the better hand. And the five of clubs is no help to Brick Dog 24. Vladimir scoops another one. He's really taking charge of this final table now, up to almost 41 million. Blinds are 300,000, 600,000. As we watch hand 48, Vixen Koala with the eights. And what is that? 23 and a bit big blinds. He's going to make a raise. Sides against shoving, which you'd have thought was an option there. Vladimir probably thinking about that, probably thinking about him three-betting. 
and his sizing. He's going to call. Doesn't have much of a hand. Does have position, I guess. He's made a pair. It gets better. Jason Koala still with the best hand, and I think this is a close your eyes and put the money in situation. Maybe in instalments, but there's so much money in the middle compared to a stack. I don't think he could ever think about folding. Vladimir is thinking about this. I mean, he must have had a plan or a decent read. So sort of call pre flop. Maybe he thinks Fix and Koala will give up a lot. He's going to put him to the test and shove on him. And Vix and Koala quite rightly puts his money in. So much money in the middle. Nothing else he can do. Big favourite here to get back into this. Actually to take the chip lead. That's how close these stacks are. Eight's still good. And they make it to the river. So a big hand in this final table. Vix and Koala goes from zero to hero. From third to first. From outhouse to penthouse, from I'm out, I don't have any more. And 55. And Vixen Koala raises on the button. Sometimes you look at your life and you think, I'm a grown man sitting in a tiny room saying Vixen Koala a lot. That's just the reality. Poppy to Joffy has three bet here. Very equal stacks. Vixen Coil has defended. Fascinating three-way battle this, isn't it? With the stacks being so close and having a little bit of room to play. Vixen Coil, as you can see, not the favourite in this situation. Stats fans. Ace high flops always quite interesting, especially in tournaments. And Poppy Joppy makes the very small bet, which Vixen Koala calls really quickly. And this may not be great for Vixen Koala. Hits a pair on the turn. Might end up putting a bit more money in. Poppy Joppy makes a really interesting check. So playing deceptively here, betting that flop. As he would do, I guess, with 100% of his, well, I don't know about 100%, but with a lot of his three bet hands, actually does have the ace on this occasion and now checks the turn. And he may very well get paid here. He's checked again. Really inviting Vixen Coil to bluff at it, but I guess Vixen Coil had one of those few hands that he would just check down and he wouldn't get any more value out of. Poppy to Joppy takes the chip lead. We are 10,000 people in Brazil holding our breath. We are alone. Hunters. Hunted. We are committed. Blessed. Calm. We are all in. We are poker. Welcome back to the Sunday Million. As promised, your online poker show free roll password is chili. Chili, like the dinner, like the country. 31st of January at 3.15 Eastern time for that one. Let's get back to the action. A really, really fun final table with some really interesting decisions, some interesting folds early. And now a really good three-way battle. Poppy to Joppy is the chip leader. Has been the chip leader for a decent amount of this final table. Looked like Vladimir's going to take control at one point. But now we're pretty even Stevens. 
has actually been a titanic three-way battle this we've jumped on almost 50 hands because the three of them jostled for position we're now watching 400,000 800,000 and this is the kind of thing that's been going on three bet from Vladimir with not much Poppy Joppy will call he's shown a willingness to do this hasn't he call Vladimir's three bets and look for good things post flop well he has the best hand middle pair will do it Vladimir is the three better. Not a particularly great flop, is it? He doesn't have anything, so he's going to try and win it right here. He gets called by Poppy Joppy. We watched that hand before where Poppy Joppy flopped top pair, called the flop and gave up on the turn. And wow, Vladimir catches top pair. I mean, you've got to be such a good player to play these kind of hands out of position as Poppy Tijoppi is trying to do here with third pair. I mean, Vladimir might bet this turn as a bluff, as a semi-bluff, or, you know, actually with a hand as he has got. Really, really tough decision. Sturdy bet from him, 7.2 into 11.8. And Poppy Joppy folds, we can see it's the right decision. And Vladimir has beaten him up a little bit in position this final table. Tough to play out of position, write that one down. Who knew? On we go. 500,000 a million are your blinds right now. So this final threesome really been going at it here. But stacks are starting to get much shallower. 20 something big blinds each. I would have thought we'll be getting the money in pretty soon. Poppy to Joppy betting this flop. He does have the best hand. Vladimir will call or float the flop, as young people often say. And interesting turn card gives Poppy Joppy a pair. Vladimir with the open-ended straight draw. And Poppy Joppy with the betting lead. I wonder what he'll do here because he won't want to get raised on this turn. So it's not impossible that he'll pop control it, but he is just going to bet. And Vladimir will call again. Very connected board, isn't it? A lot of potential draws out there, potential pair and drawing hands. And the three of diamonds is a big brick. Well, Vladimir's called pre-flop on the flop and on the turn with not too much. He finally gets a check out of his opponent probably knows he can't win without bluffing but then what does this bet really represent probably just be thinking about this one it's still a tough call to make it's still a pretty big bet six million into just over seven million Poppy Joppy's hand reading skills being tested here he really doesn't have too much just a bluff catching hand but he makes the call Nice call from Poppy to Joppy. He deservedly gets the chip lead. Could you have made that one? On we go. Hand 128. We've seen some really nice poker at this million final table. If you watch these regularly, you know they vary a lot. Sometimes they're fast and furious. Sometimes there's a bit more poker, and this one's been full of interesting hands. Real pleasure to watch. Maybe getting a little bit more traditional all in ski here vixen koala with the eights poppy joppy with the tens and vixen koala only has about 21 big blinds to start the hand and yep in goes the money a bad spot for vixen koala poppy joppy threatening to finally take charge of this final table and finally end this three-way battle vixen koala looking for an eight and finds one 
It's never going to end. These three are going to play poker until the next teacoop. King of Hearts doesn't change anything. Poppy Droppy looking for a 10. It doesn't arrive. And from nowhere, Vixen Quadra has been the short stack a decent amount of the time these three have played together. Now is the big chip leader. Poppy Droppy and Vladimir sitting at the 15 big blind mark. And that's what happens at the 15 big blind mark. In goes the money from Vladimir on the button. Nothing Vixen Koala can do about it. And you'd imagine this is a call for the popster. In it goes. Basically both players all in. Poppy Droppy just has a few chips left over. And the Dutchman is the favourite. Good flop for his eight high hand. No help for Vladimir, but some help on the turn. This one got flipped around. Vladimir, now the big favourite, but not through the river. A dramatic run out between these two to get to the heads up. Vladimir, the unlucky man. And after a really entertaining final table, in which he played some great stuff, didn't he? Some really good hands to look back on. The Russian player leaves with $148,385. Big payday for him. And we're heads up between the Dutchman, Poppy de Joppy, and the Canadian Vixen Koala. It's pretty even stacked. Poppy makes top pair on this flop. Vixen Koala thinking about whether to continuation bet here or not. Pretty connected Middle East sort of flop. But we are playing heads up, so he'll far away. Small bet from Vixen and the raise from Poppy to Joppy. And a quick fold. So Poppy to Joppy takes back the chip lead from Vixen Koala, but we're very even. Hand 166. We're playing the commentator unfriendly, 600,000, 1.2 million level. Vixen Koala raises the button and Bobby Jopi pretty relentless in his aggression. Well, three bet, Vixen Koala will defend it. So this is a big pot, 11 million in the middle as we go to the flop. And Bobby Jopi vaults to the lead with that pair. Not a disastrous flop for Vixen Koala, has the straight draw and the two over cards. How does Poppy to Joppy view this one? He's shown a lot of flexibility in his play post flop. Seen him take aggressive lines. And also more sort of check cally type lines. He's going to bet here. I think you might see Vixen Koala at least call one street. Or even raise. Does have a lot of equity in this hand. And knows that Poppy's Joppy has a really wide range to three bet with. <laughs> Poppy's having none of it. In goes the money. Seems to have a really good read on Vixen Koala, doesn't he? Not taking any messing on this flop. And Vixen Koala puts the money in. So we've got a turn and river for almost all the chips in play in the Sunday Million. Two of hearts doesn't change anything. Poppy Joppy's going to win this tournament unless Vixen Koala can catch on the river. Six of diamonds doesn't change anything. Poppy to Joppy is your champion after a pretty epic Sunday Million final table. Some really, really good poker in that one. Fun to go back and look over those hands. But at the end of it all, the man who came in as chip leader is your winner. Poppy to Joppy takes home $191,995. A huge score after the four-way deal. Vixen Koala played a great final table in third, and Vladimir also played great, didn't he? Looked like the winner at one point. 148,000 for the Russian. Great stuff. Hope you enjoyed this Sunday Million. There'll be another one this time next week. For everybody at PokerStars.tv, I'm Nick Welfall. Take care.